In this video, we're going to solve this Alex problem, writing the equation of a line through two given points. So we have our points on the graph. The first thing that we need to do for this problem is find the slope. And there's a couple of ways that we could do this. One is that we could use the graph and count to find the rise over run. So going from the first point to the second point, I see that I'm going down two, and then to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my rise is negative two, my run is eight, and so it's negative two over eight or negative one fourth. Make sure that you're taking into account that it's negative because our line is sloping downward. If the line was sloping upward, then I would expect to have a positive slope. The other way that you can find slope is using the slope formula. So I'll switch to a different color to show how to do it that way. The slope formula, remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I need to identify the coordinates of these two points. So this first point is negative 2, negative 3. And my second point is 6, negative 5. So I'm going to choose which one I want to be x1, y1, and which one I want to be x2, y2. Doesn't really matter. But I'm going to label those and then plug in. So y2 is negative 5, and y1 is negative 3. So we have negative 5 minus negative 3. x2 is going to be 6, and x1 is negative 2, so 6 minus negative 2. These minus negatives change to plus. So we have negative 5 plus 3, which is negative 2, 6 plus 2, which is 8. So negative 2 over 8, which is negative 1 fourth. So as we would expect, we get the same thing, whichever way we do it. So my slope is negative 1 fourth. Now my next step to solving the problem is to plug in. the slope, m, and a point, into y equals mx plus b. And solve for b. So, I can choose either of my two labeled points to plug in. I'll go with the x1, y1 point. So I'm going to plug in y, negative 3. I'm going to plug in the m that I found above, which is negative 1 fourth. And I'm going to plug in my x, which is negative 2. And then I'm solving for b. So this point here, I'm plugging in the x and y and plugging in the slope from above. So now let's solve for b. We have negative 3 equals negative 1 fourth times negative 2. It's going to be positive 2 fourths. And so this is also going to be known as 1 half. So I'll write that over here. And then lastly, I'm going to subtract away that one half to get b. Now, when you're dealing with a number uh, minus a fraction, that's probably where this is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, negative 3 minus 1 half.
In order to combine these, we need to have a common denominator. So I need to get a common denominator of 2 for my whole number. So multiply top and bottom of the fraction by 2. So that's negative 6 over 2 minus 1 over 2 or negative 7 over 2. Now I know that negative 7 over 2 is negative 3 halves and I can check on my graph to make sure that that looks like the point where the graph is crossing the y-axis. So I can see it looks like it's about halfway between negative 3 and negative 4. So negative 3 and a half would make sense. So then when I enter my equation, it's going to be entered here in this box, y equals negative 1 fourth, plug that in for m, and plug in the b that I found of negative 7 over 2. So that would be my answer.